Hey guys, it's Adalis. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I have my Halloween little boo shirt and I have a little bat necklace from Juicy. So as you can see, it's Halloween theme. And um, something you guys may not know about me is that I love baths and I especially love bath bombs and bubble bars and stuff like that. So one of my favorite stores is actually Lush. And I was lucky enough that a couple months ago, a Lush store opened a couple of blocks away from my apartment. Bad thing is all my money goes to them now. But I got my hands on pretty much all of the bubble bars and bath bombs in their Halloween collection. So I just kind of wanted to hop in and show you guys what they look like and what their um, scents are. did get my hands also in their little list. Um, I'm gonna kind of go over and um, give you guys their descriptions of what they are um, from what I got from them. I'm gonna show you the actual look for these little bath bombs. So I'm gonna go in the order of the ones they have here. So the first one that we have is the eyeball little eyeball as you can see it has its pupil and its iris and it's all white and it actually doesn't say what they are good beautiful amazing <laughs> So I'm just gonna quickly pop over to Lush.com and just read the descriptions for you. The eyeball, let us see the description. It says, blink and you'll miss it. This good looking bomb is easy on the eyes and the nose too. Um, it's a fabulously floral blend of lavender, rose, yang yang oils to create a supremely soothing aroma perfect for those looking to get a more shut eye eyeball makes for a frightfully relaxing evening bath so there we go lavender rose and yang yang oils is what that one has okay so number two we are going for the lord of misrule so the Lord of Misrule is a spicy one. It is, uh, let's see what it says. It says, revel in your bath with this mischievous bum that features spicy herbal blend of patchouli and black pepper oil. It smells so good, sorry. <laughs> Inspired by the ruler of the pagan feast of food, the Lord of Misrule, has a deep green exterior and slowly froths away to reveal a rich wine color. Just like the Feast of the Fool, when the wine starts to flow, the popping candy crackles and the festivities begin. So, moving on. So the next one on their list is the Monster's Ball. Look at that cute face. Look at that throw yourself a ball and revel in possibly the most beautiful bath water ever. This Cyclops otter layer creates rolls of pink froth atop deep blue and purple waters and its fruity lime and neroli perfume fills the air. Make sure you save a dance for these beautiful monstrosity. Trust us, you won't regret it. Okay, next one on the list is actually the ectoplasm, which is a jelly bomb. They were out of that one and they were also out of the ghost in the dark soap, but I'm gonna actually go ahead and find those descriptions for you um, and kind of let you know what they were. Um, let's see, I don't know if you can see this one over there. This one here is the ectoplasm one. That one is the one that they didn't have. So the description says, for a truly outerworldly experience this fall, drop this bomb on your tub to watch the ooze a layer of supernatural jelly on top of your water. 
This slippery stuff isn't just for show though. It's made from nutritious skin softening seaweed. So you'll emerge from your soak feeling spookily silky. Immerse yourself in this invention to be haunted by its zesty tangerine and grapefruit perfume. And then the Ghost in the Dark, it is a foamer. It's actually like a soap. It's not a bath bomb, but they didn't have it. So this one says, this skin-friendly ghost keeps your corporeal form in the physical condition. That's fine. Citrus sweet lemongrass lifts spirits while fair trade organic cocoa butter moisturizes skin, making, late, making it eerily supple and smooth. No need to worry about losing this bar in the ether. It glows in the dark. Oh man, now I really want to get my hands on it. Um, scare away dirt, oil, and dryness with one multitasking bar. Oh, we only have the bubble bars left. Mm. Yeah. So the next one is Bewitch, which is a bubble bar. It's a cat. It's a black cat. It is literally my cat. My cat is a black Persian with yellow eyes. The description in Lush says, Drop your superstitions. Crossing path with this black cat brings nothing but good luck. Crumble up this fab feline under the tap to conjure up a cloud of fruity bubbles and dark, mysterious waters. One bath and you'll agree, this kitty is absolute perfection. And I think its fragrance is mostly bergamot oil. Next one that we have is the sparkling pumpkin. Look at that, it has a little cinnamon stick on the top to make it seem like a stem and it's sparkly, look at that. I just grabbed it for two seconds. Oh my gosh, my hands are gonna be so filled with it. But it has glitter even on the bottom, like literally 360 degrees of glitter. Have a ball in the bath with this warm and cheerful bubble bar packed full of sparkle and citrus for cool winter nights. The energizing blend of juniper berry, lime, and grapefruit oils make it perfect for a long lingering soak that'll leave your skin kissed with softness and the light plastic free shimmer. So it's plastic free glitter, which is glitter that is absolutely safe for you to use in baths for your skin. It is non-abrasive. It is good for every time of skin. Those are the actual bubble bath and soap bars, except for the jelly bomb, which is the exoplasm that I couldn't get, nor the soap of Ghost in the Dark that I couldn't get in my hands off. But apart from that, they have two other um, products for the Halloween collection that I just didn't quite get because I didn't think I would like them. Sorry, but it's the ectoplasm wash card. So it's kind of the same um, scent from the ectoplasm jelly bomb, but just like a little card. I didn't quite get it what they mean by what you have to do with those. So if anybody really understands what those wash cards are in Lush, it's the People tried to explain it to me. I didn't quite get it. So if you guys can comment below what they are so I can get more knowledge and maybe start using them in my daily washing routine or when I'm taking baths and having me time, that would be amazing just because I don't understand what they are. And the other product is the Ectoplasm Naked Shower Cream. I'm not a big fan of shower creams. Those do give me a little bit more of allergic reactions. So I kind of try to stick to the creams that I know and uh, the ones that I kind of know I can use. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire Halloween collection that Lush had. I am so excited to use them. Keep double checking my Instagram, which is ONAP17. Um, and Instagram, same um, name in Twitter because I normally put in pictures and Instagram stories whenever I use these bath bombs. Keep an eye out that. Again, that is in Instagram and Twitter at ONAP17. That's my handle. And if you guys have any other suggestions as to other like bath bombs that I should try and buy out and do the series of, comment below if you want me to do full length actual videos about these instead of just instagram stories let me know in the comments below please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button hopefully it'll start working again soon and thank you for watching have a good day see you all next time
Bye.